last section of the marketing mix is place for unit one now in the specification this is all it says about place so understand the or explain the growing importance of e-commerce um, but then in the textbook it does give some details about place and channels of distribution now i think that's a little bit more unit two but it's a good time to learn it when you're learning about unit one so i am going to go through that um, and i'm going to go through this specification objective so just to explain why there's a bit more in this presentation than what it says on the specification so what i usually do when i'm getting students to think about uh, place is i ask them all the different places that they could buy these products from and you'll see that um, a bottle of Coca-Cola could be bought at so many different places, restaurants, cinemas, train stations, news agents, supermarkets. Um, it's very much available in so many different stores. You can buy it online if you're shopping through, um, you know, Asda online or Sainsbury's or something like that. But you don't usually, or I don't, as far as I know, there's no mecha uh, mechanism for you to order directly from the Coca-Cola company. You're always going through other retail to purchase it. Adidas trainers, um, they do have their own stores, um, but as well you can buy them online, you can buy them through other sports stores, fashion stores, John Lewis, those types of places. Holiday to Florida, there's many different travel agents that sell holidays, but also you could do it independently, booking a flight through the um, airlines, Virgin, British Airways, and then purchasing um, tickets from directly from Disney or through um, a travel agent and then the number one single of the week um, it must have been Zayn Malik when I was teaching this um, but you can buy a, a physical copy but also you can download it from um, iTunes or uh, another um, uh, seller of digital music or you can stream it these days as well which is a growing market so the point that I'm trying to make here is there's so many different channels that you can get these products through and so that leads us nicely onto our key terms channel of distribution uh, are just the methods used to get the good or the service from the producer to the final consumer and intermediaries this is more of an A level word um, but it means the businesses that the product passes through so it's the kind of the middle men that it passes through to get to the final consumer so this is a distribution diagram you can see different types of ways of getting the product to the consumer and different businesses will use maybe a mix of these they might not use all of them some businesses might just sell directly to the customer it depends on what business they are but you can see here we've got directly to the consumer called direct method um, going through a retail shop it might be their own retail shop as in the case of Adidas as I said before or it could be through other other retail shops so coca-cola selling to um, walmart who own asda and then then getting them to the consumer it could go through a wholesaler who buys in big quantities and then sells to smaller shops who then sells the consumer distributors who it's their job to get the products to different retailers or maybe even an agent um, and we'll have a look at what those are in a second so here are a few other definitions for you wholesaler these buy in bulk from the producer and then sell to the smaller retailer so they're taking out all that kind of hassle um, in some ways of having to find these smaller retailers and they're just buying in bulk but they would expect a, a discount um, to make it profitable for them to then go on and sell to the smaller retailers. The retailers are the shops that you'll be mostly aware of. The, this is where most people purchase their products from and these are uh, convenient, they're in convenient places like shopping centres or town centres and they, they have displays and they display the items in an appealing way for customers to purchase. And then agents, basically all these are a uh, people that put the buyer and the seller in contact with each other and usually uh, a business uses if I go back to this diagram a business uses an agent when they're trying to sell to um, businesses or customers in foreign markets so say a business wants to sell their products in France they might go through an agent and say which are the best department stores to get our product into to reach the the right type of customers uh, our target market um, and uh, agents, if you most people think it's like travel agents, and that's exactly what a travel agent is. It's putting you in contact, the customer who wants to go on holiday, with a holiday company, um, the flights, and all those types of things. 
so e-commerce um it's a, a bit of an old definition really we don't always you know use this term these days but it, it's basically selling doing business over the internet so uh, e meaning the internet and commerce meaning business um so it could be it could actually be buying and selling over the internet or just doing any of the business function over the internet so here are a few benefits for uh, a business of selling over the internet you can reach a wider audience, so hopefully more revenue, uh, well, more sales first, more revenue, more profits. You may not need an expensive retail store. So remember, retail stores might be located in town centres where the rent is going to be quite expensive. You might need to get a shop designer to make it look all appealing. You might need to fit it out with the, uh, the fixtures and fittings, which are going to be very expensive. You're also going to need people to work in the shop um, to be able to sell the items. Um, so that's another cost as well whereas you might need fewer employees or different types of employees more like web engineers and IT technicians if you're just selling over the internet and you may be able to access more suppliers over the internet as well um, so just looking for suppliers of products in your local area might not give you as well definitely won't give you as many results as if you're looking for suppliers in a white um, over the internet and you can google it uh, you might be able to get um, suppliers from even foreign countries where prices might be significantly lower than they are here. Um, and then the other side for customers, well, you shop anytime you like, so it's very, very convenient, maybe more likely to purchase. Um, and you can you can access a much wider range of products as well. There's fantastic things that you can get out of the internet these days. Now, we do have to look at the disadvantages of uh, buying and selling off the internet for both the business and the customer, um, but we don't have to look at it as part of the marketing section. So it's more of the, it actually comes into um, operations. So, um, and uh, kind of customer service and those types of things. So I won't do that for this presentation.